What's up, everybody? Dark Seraph here. I want to come at you with a quick update. I want to cover the the direct that happened on just the 8th yesterday as the date of recording this. We have more news on Pikmin 4, Advanced Wars, NSO expansions, a new latent game, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has a new trailer, there's a remake of Metroid Prime, more information on a Kirby on the Kirby Dreamland remake, and even a Baton Kaitos remake. Pikmin 4 has been slated to release on July the 21st. There's a new Pikmin type. There's four controllable captains. It's going back to its treasure hunting roots. And it has a puppy. I got nothing else to add to that. It's a pup. It has a puppy. I only hope that you can pet the dog. Advanced Wars is slated to release in April of this year. I'm hoping it actually happens. Given uh, events. I'm not going to go into them, but events. The Game Boy and Game Boy Advance is coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Game Boy and Game Boy Color on the base. Whatever version on the base Nintendo Switch Online. And Game Boy Advance on Plus. Honestly, with Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, as well as NES and SNES, that might be worth the $50 a year. Just, just, just kind of going to throw that out there. A new Professor Layton game, even though I don't personally care for the series, I know there's people that do. And the fact that this series is getting love and attention is a good thing. More games means more to do. The new Tears of the Kingdom trailer looks great. Link's got some kind of metal arm now. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess we're going to find out. Ganondorf has made a return. Sounds intimidating. It looks interesting. I'm looking forward to what this game's going to be. I hope they got rid of weapon durability. That's all I'm saying. I hope they got rid of weapon durability. It was only a rumor last year. People dismissed it. People shut it off. Said it's never going to happen. But it's happened. Metroid Prime has a remake. And it's available on the Nintendo eShop right now. You can buy it right now. And it's slated for a physical release on the 22nd of this month. Really looking forward to that. I, I cannot say how happy I am about that rumor being true. Kirby has a, a Magalore epilogue for the Return to Dreamland remake coming out sometime this month. I forget the exact date. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Finally get a chance to play that game and with new content, mini games. I'm looking forward to what this is going to be. For those of you who care about a weird, obscure RPG on the GameCube, it's getting a remake. Both of them. Button Kaitos. That, 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 that's all I got to say on it. But it's Button Kaitos. It's a weird RPG I don't know much about. But I know it has fans and it's getting a remake. That's about it for the Direct. Uh, on to channel stuff. I'm almost done editing all the Horizon Forbidden West videos. I only have four more to edit, and it will finish out this month. The following week of the 27th onward, Spider-Man will replace it in the afternoon series. And I will not have an early morning series until Spider-Man has finished all its recording. I don't know what I'll play in the morning. In the morning? In the morning. I don't know what I'm going to play in the morning. I don't know what I'll play for the morning series once I wrap up Spider-Man's recording, but we'll burn that bridge when we get there. I did get my hands on a PlayStation 5. I got a controller box here. So, and I did pick up Sonic Frontiers. I don't have it close by, but it's on that game shelf there. So maybe I'll cover that for my early morning series when I wrap up Spider-Man. And since I have the PS5, I can get Trails into Reverie on the PS5 version. Now, that was interesting enough, the PS4 version has a VR mode. So I'm very curious to see just how the hell a weird semi-turn-based RPG would work in VR. That's very weird. That's very interesting. I had to look up some footage of that. It's about all I wanted to cover, honestly. I'm wrapping up editing for Horizon. I'm editing Spider-Man. I don't want to cover, I don't want to record two games at one time, but once I wrap up Spider-Man, I'll start recording another game and we'll see where we go from there. Thank you all for watching. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.